design? I mean, you expect to take it? Well, what? Yes. I mean, well, we didn't know how it would play out. We knew we were going to spread the floor and try to let uh, Bone you know, see what he could create, but if not, get it back to Grant, let Grant go do something with it. And, you know, he had missed a couple shots earlier that he normally makes, but obviously Ole Miss had a lot to do with that. I thought both teams just played their hearts out, and you would expect that this time of year. You know, Kermit has done a terrific job this year with this team. And, Great atmosphere, great crowd, but we've kind of dealt with that all year, everywhere we've been. But I'm just really happy for our guys because, you know, we've had some uh, tough ones that uh, didn't go our way, and they found a way to stay in it. You know, we just couldn't seem to make a shot. You know, Bowden had a three that, uh, that I mean, it did everything but go in. And then um, uh, Grant, like I said, missed a couple that he normally makes. And But, I, I, again, I just thought our guys found a way to stay in it and, and get it done at the end. And, Obviously, um, that last play, I, you know, I, we just lost a game in a bang bang situation like that. We wouldn't want to do that, step in there. But uh, I'm glad that worked out for us. Uh, but you just don't want to put yourself in that vulnerable situation like that. But it did work out. Rick, when, when Admiral stepped in for that, did you know it was a charge? When it was did you think it was a charge? I didn't know. Uh, well, he was standing there. That I can tell you. If he did anything, yeah. I mean, I, I think he was he was standing there. But I. Again, it's not something that you want to see happen. You don't want to stay in front of them. I mean, it's a, you know they're going to get it going downhill, and they, you know they're going to have to take a tough shot and hope that you can stay in front of it without fouling. But uh, I don't think in that situation you want to even put the referee in a situation where he has to make a call one way or the other. But I, I, I do think he took it square. So, uh, but uh, I'm sure if I look at it and see, I might tell you that it was a, it was a tough call. You know, uh, just like I can say the way we the other night. Uh, End of the game on a play like that, we just really we didn't want him to do that. And it, again, I'm just we're glad it worked out. Rick, how much happier were you with that late game execution with Grant than you were at LSU with Monta? Well, again, I thought we've learned from that, and you know we stayed together, and you know we had guys play a lot of minutes tonight out there. When you look at it, you know all the you, know, you look at their minutes, they were 31, 31, 37, 34, and you look at ours 36, 32, 34, 33, and. This time of year, guys have to log those minutes in games like this because it's a possession game, and you realize that. But um, I did think that we came out to start of the second half. That was big to get back in it uh, there. We started the game defensively. We were very good, um, but our offense wasn't very good. We were not moving the ball, sharing the ball to start the game. And they, they, made, some, they made some tough shots uh, in the first half, but they were capable of doing that. And, and then we... Um, had some breakdowns, which you're going to have some. They, they cut very, very hard. Uh, again, they're, they're a hard team to defend. And um, But the second half, the way we started the second half, was uh, we were able to, I thought we settled down on offense and started going to some ball screens to uh, try to get our offense started a little bit closer to the three-point line. And, uh, and it was good for us. And then it got into where it was really became a possession game each time down the floor. Both teams playing their hearts out and battling. And rebounds became huge. Everything became huge. What was Kyle's 